Kevin, a nine-year-old killed in this crash that also left a six-year-old in critical condition. It happened this morning on the east side of town near Broadbent and Russell. That's where we find our Faith Jesse. And Faith, police say the child was not wearing a seatbelt, and that's not the worst of it. That's exactly right. Police say this child was not only not wearing a seatbelt, but in fact there was no back seat in the car. Just after nine this morning, a crash on Broadbent Boulevard and Cherry Street took the life of a nine year old boy. Police say his mother, identified as Ashley Hawk, made an unsafe U turn in her 2014 Chrysler van when she was hit by another driver. Her six and nine year old children were in the back of the van. Unfortunately, we've got two children that were unrestrained in the back of the minivan. Uh, no seats, no child seats, nothing. Uh, so the, the children were kind of left uh, at. Uh, what was presented in the back seat. Um, she is nine years old and he's five. Matthew Levisor lives around the corner from the crash site with his two children who are very close in age to the children involved in the crash. We have had them in car seats. I mean, she just left her uh, booster seat a month ago. You know, I mean, she is, was in a car seat, booster seat, and she's only been riding in the car seat or uh, regular seat for a month. It's a safety requirement. He says shouldn't be taken lightly. Wear seatbelts. Have your kids wear seatbelts, car seats. Make sure the car seats are installed properly. If you don't have your seatbelt on it, you could lose your life. The investigation is ongoing, but it could result in child endangerment charges or a vehicular manslaughter case. I'm Faith Jesse reporting for <clears throat> News 3. Send it back to Reed.